this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com, and today we're going to review the Ruckus style Chinese scooter. Um, order this scooter from um, ScooterDepot.us. It is a Ruckus looking style scooter. It's not actually the Ruckus uh, scooter. Now Ruckus scooters, they go anywhere from $3,000 dollars and up uh, for new and you can get some used ones cheaper uh, this scooter here costs about a thousand dollars total um, and it includes shipping so uh, this thousand dollars is delivered from scooterdepot.us this is the first scooter I've ordered from scooter depot but not the first scooter scooter I've ordered um, all in all it's got a really nice look go through the different uh, features here let's get the retro style Gauge here, you got miles per hour, you have kilometers per hour. One thing to note is mile per hour is an orange, so you really want to look at that when you're driving. Left and right, uh, high beam, these are all pretty much standard in most scooters. You got the gas gauge, um, some scooters um, or motorcycles don't have that, so that's nice. It's got this nice metal uh, bar here, which is kind of curled. Uh, these are pretty nice size mirrors here, so that's pretty cool. Um, seat, very comfortable. It, it's a little, um, if you have long legs, there's one thing to consider. Is as we sit down here, it's a little tight. So, but all in all, still a very comfortable ride. You can take sandals on this, uh, shoes, you know, easy to get on. Um, the headlights, I think, are one of the coolest parts of this bike here. Um, now, this is plastic, but you could paint this and uh, have a little bit nicer metal look to it. But I like the gray. Let me turn the lights on just so you can see them how they look. I like that look and when it turns on it actually gets much brighter but um, it has a really nice look in my opinion. The wheel size is, is, is fairly large considering it's a scooter. Um, I mean I'm not sure exactly on the size of them and you can look on the website and find that out. Um, underneath here you can kind of see you can see underneath the seat. Now what I did was I added additional storage because that's one thing this bike lacks a little bit is storage. Most scooters have your storage up here um, this has the storage underneath the seat. Now, a couple options with the storage underneath the seat. You can add webbing, which has a really cool look, but people can potentially get access to your stuff if they cut the web webbing or, or rip it. Um, how you get under the seat here is you lift this up. I added a little plastic bin just for my registration, license, things like that. If this wasn't here, right in here you can act, get access to the motor itself. And then that just shuts like this. Now this is a little lock for your helmet. Now, one cool thing is this has a Kickstarter, um, which is something that uh, pretty much no new motorcycles come with. So I like that feature. Um, gas is under here. It's your key right here. Get in there, and you got your gas right there. Um, one interesting thing is that this lock here, you can actually shut, I guess, for extra added security. And on this key here, you have a little unlocking part. You turn that, and then you can get in here. Because that'd be good for rain, or um, <clears throat> if you have somewhere that people could try to steal your stuff. So all in all, um, basically we've had the scooter for about a week now, driving around town. It's really good gas mileage, about 100 miles per gallon. One thing is is this is a 150 cc. Uh, I've had the 49 cc scooters before, and I haven't been happy with their power performance up hills. It's a little hilly around here. So I got the 150cc, and depending on the state you're in, sometimes you need a motorcycle license for that, so be aware of that. But um, it does have more power and performance. One thing that I've noticed, I'm not sure if it's, if it's just how this bike is or something with my particular bike, is that when I give it the gas uh, above three quarters, it bogs down. It actually slows down. So I'm pretty much, when I'm on the gas, I'm at about three quarters. And if I go any more than that, I actually slow down. So I'll, I'll take it for a test drive so you can see what I mean with that, and you can hear how it sounds. Um, so I'm going to do that right now, actually. So you got your rear brake, front brake. That's another thing is one brake is a disc brake, one is a drum brake. Your disc brakes are always much better than your drum brakes. So um, when you're looking for scooters, try to get one with, with a, a, at least one disc brake because it's got a much better stopping power with a disc brake. Um, so let's turn it on. See here I have 99 kilometers on so you hold one brake in and this you push to the left and of course you gotta turn the key on 
New gauges come alive. Push that to the left, pull your brake in. And it starts pretty pretty nice. Um, I've had a couple different scooters. Some of them have been real, real fighting to get them started. This one turns on pretty much first try. One other strange thing is look if you look at the handlebars here I, as I turn them, it's not turning the front lights, which is very strange because almost all motorcycles and scooters will turn your front lights as you turn the wheel. So it's a little strange to get used to, but it's how they were back in the old days, uh, retro style. So let's take it for a test drive. It's got a good turning radius. The weight is not that bad, very light, easy to maneuver. It's got good pickup, good brake, good braking right here. Brakes on a dime. There you go. I'm going to go up to about uh, 40 miles per hour. I'm going to hold my hat here. And right here, I have a max, but it's bogging down a little bit. Give it a little bit less gas. It's pretty much at three quarters now, up to about 40 miles per hour. going downhill I'm sure I can easily get up to 50, 55. Go up this hill right here. So it's pretty quiet, which is nice also. I mean, when it's very slow here. Um, so all in all, I, I, I like the scooter. The one thing I wish is it didn't bog down. Um, it's a 150cc scooter, in my opinion, should have a little bit more power, um, especially be able to go full throttle and just keep accelerating. Um, I'm not sure if that's the regulator or if there's something particularly wrong with my scooter or if that's just all of these styles. Um, but if you have any information, please let me know in the comments. And if yours is doing the same or yours is not doing the same, let me know also in the comments too. Um, I've tried to contact their tech support. I was on hold for about half an hour and then just gave up. So um, one thing is the tech support is not that great for Scooter Depot. Um, there also is almost no manuals or video uh, guides to put this together. So I put one together for you guys. You can check out my other video on building this scooter. Um, but all in all, it's a solid scooter. It's a lot of fun to drive, very comfortable, smooth ride. I think it looks great. That's one of the reasons, I, one of the nicest scooters, um, looking scooters, I, I feel, um, on the market. It has that nice kind of World War II-esque feel. Um, and I like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any other questions, let me know. But uh, all in all, this is a really nice, nice scooter. Thanks.